All right, here with my buddy Todd. Welcome, Todd. Thank you. So, um, can you uh, tell us uh, what do you what do you have in your bag right now? Uh, so, I have the GoPro Seeker version one. Yep. Which is 16 liters. Uh huh. Very small. Yep. Five inches thick. Yep. So this is about as light as I can travel. Uh huh. And this is getting me through six weeks in Mexico. Six weeks. Wait, why are you here for six weeks? Ah. Uh, so I started in Guanajuato for a week. Yep. I did Spanish school for five days. Nice. Um, aprende. Uh -huh. Mucho español. Yeah. <laughs> uh, te gusta te gusta Mexico? Sí. Por qué te gusta? Ah, uh, la comida. Uh -huh. La gente. Ah. Oh. Uh, es uh, más muy uh, muy barato. Oh, <laughs> qué bueno. Okay. Sí. Y um, te te gusta GoPro Seeker bag? Sí. Por qué? Very. It's very small, thin, light, mm -hmm. and I have. All right, yeah. Show us, show, show us all the okay. the, the goodies you have. So it's mostly gear. Okay. It's. Uh, so what what what, uh, what what camera do you have here? Panasonic G9. That's a, that's the same camera, same ironically, camera. that I'm actually recording this yeah. video on, huh? Um, no, what what lens do you have on? Twelve everything? to sixty, the cheap one. Uh huh. The Mexico version. Nice. The okay. Mexico. And what's that little oh, thing you have on the side? Uh, Who it, makes that? It two ye, it two ye or something. Is it Chinese or? No, I'm not sure what French or something. Is Italian. it is it much better because it's, it's so small? Oh yeah, because it's not even in the way, right? Ah. And it's pretty good. It's it's as good or a little better than the Rode Video Micro. Oh okay okay. So and then um, why? So you have a GH5 and you have a G9. Why yeah. did you, why did you decide to bring the G9? Uh, G9 is cheaper. It is. Just, yeah, it's like half the price. Really. Why is well not quite. Wait, why is why is GH5 cheap but more expensive? Uh, well, the GH5 has way more video capabilities, uh -huh. but the G9 is built more for photos. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. But it does it still does 4K 60, mm -hmm. but it doesn't do all the codecs or all the compression that oh, the GH5 okay. does. So, oh, interesting. I mean, it's it's good enough as a uh -huh. video camera, and it's really good as a photo camera. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And it's cheaper. Okay, so, so what's, what's all this oh, crap so you have here on the side? The DJI Osmo Pocket, which is amazing. I use this 70% of the time now. Oh, really? For your iPhone? Well, no, just uh, for video. Wait, you could... Wait, what is this? So it's it's a video. It's this a is gimbal. a video? It's, yeah, it's a gimbal. Wait, it shoots video too? Yeah, video. It does photos, but the photos oh. are great. Oh, so this is uh, essentially a portable video camera. Yeah. What? It's amazing. How does it work? So, just turn it on. And see the gimbal gets straight. Uh-huh. And then... You can move around, and it's, oh, all, whoa. it's all smooth. Holy moly. Instead of a huge gimbal, I do have a huge gimbal for yeah. my big cameras, which yeah. would take up this whole bag. Yeah. So. so do people use this for, do you use it for vlogging, or what do you yeah, use it for? Yeah, yeah. The sound's okay. If there's uh -huh. not a lot of ambient noise, it's, uh -huh. it's fine. Yeah. But in a restaurant, the sound doesn't do very well. Uh -huh. But B-roll, I mean, it's, it's probably... 80% of my B-roll. Whoa, how much, how much does this cost? Uh, 350. Oh, well, that's pretty cheap. Yeah. Huh, damn, that's pretty cool. Uh -huh. So this, I just keep it in my, so it's like having a cell phone with a gimbal. Oh, interesting. All the time, it's just always in my pocket. Is it, is it way more convenient than shooting with a cell phone? Yeah, because you get, you get the smooth. Oh, I see, I see, uh-uh. Uh, what else? MacBook Pro 13. Mm -hmm. uh, the, this is the Mavic Air. Is the which one call it the in the mind the drone shift gear yeah oh <laughs> in who, my mind shift gear bag oh Actually, I have two mind shift gear bags oh who's mind shift uh, that's uh, same as um, think tank think tank oh okay so then in here so I got my shaver <laughs> oh why don't you just use the elect uh, normal shavers uh, I don't know huh? so this is a Oyen digital two terabyte two SSD uh-huh. Really Damn, that's good. pretty really good. Really light for drive. It's only two, two terabytes. terabytes. Yeah, that's crazy. And very fast. Uh -huh. So that's my main editing okay. drive. Uh -huh. Then I have two five terabytes. I can't believe this is five terabytes. <laughs> these are Seagate. Holy moly. How much do these cost? Five um, terabytes for these? 100, 110. That's so insane. they're pretty cheap. Oh, it's so cheap for now. Five terabytes.
Are you are you shooting actually like 4K and stuff like that? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay. So I fill up a lot. When uh, and you upload, I assume all your stuff once you get back home, right? Yeah. Okay, mm. just more plugs, a uh, mouse which I haven't used. Uh -huh. um, why do you, why you have why are you trouble with the mouse? I don't know. Seems so like a... editing it's easier sometimes. Oh, what's that? That remote for the drone. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> have you actually been using the, the drone much? Yeah, yeah, I used it in got some real cool city shots in Guanajuato uh -huh. and San Miguel. Uh -huh. And then the Exploding Hammer Festival yesterday, oh. which is crazy. Eric will have to look what, is, what is what is the what is the exploding So this little town they uh, they put explosives on the end of sledgehammers yeah. and then they hit the ground with it and it just blows up. Is it safer than it seems or is it more dangerous no, it's, than it seems? It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> little kids are doing it. Like this, you know, six year old kids with a little bit of explosives and the adults put a whole bunch on Oh, that's pretty hilarious. It's just crazy oh my like god I got from shrapnel I got this oh nice that's uh some good 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 warp and then what do you what else you got uh, oh so okay. what what clothes are you bringing so I got two Columbia shirts yep this is the same thing just gray and black uh-huh quick dry yep very quick dry mm -hmm. uh, okay this oh this is a Woolies merino wool shirt to mm -hmm. sleep in yeah and it dries so fast I can just wash it in the morning and uh -huh. it'll be dry by bedtime yep and these are i just got new woolies boxers Ooh, i'm gonna try those out next time <laughs> is, is it better than ex-officio oh yeah sorry ex oh really it is I okay like, i'm gonna have to switch i have like 12 ex-officio i think i have like 20. <laughs> but the, the um, waistbands always loosen up and loosen up on the ex-officios oh but this one is good so far and yeah. they dry so fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, they dry almost as fast as this, the thin um, Columbia shirt. Mm -hmm. So let's see what else. I got, uh, this is an icebreaker. It's a three-quarter pants. So that just means that it comes up to your ankles or? Well, it, no, for you, it'll come up to okay. below the knee for uh -huh. me. Oh, nice. It's almost like a, uh, what are those called? Like Chinos capris. or whatever, a caprice? Capri. <laughs> Wait, so what, what is the point of the, the three-quarter thing? Well, I guess if you have big socks, yeah. then you would use these, so mm -hmm. you don't have... Well, I mean, like, why, why, are, you, why are you even oh, traveling so with the... these are to sleep in. Oh, to sleep in, okay. Yeah. Why don't you sleep naked? Well, with you guys, <laughs> I don't know. Cindy would appreciate it. Yeah, because I, I, I used to travel with sleeping <laughs> things too, but now I just sleep on my boxers, so... <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, and no. yeah, and then prana pants. Uh -huh. Love the prana pants. Is, are the, aren't those for, like, yoga? Yeah, yeah, they uh -huh. they're yoga and they're very uh, environmentally friendly. But these are they're like a polyester and a lycra or something. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So they're a little stretchy. They're quick dry. Mm -hmm. Like I have, oh, you could kind of see some some of the explosives got on me. Oh, like nice. The white. So I washed it last uh -huh. night and it it dried in like oh. two hours. What kind of socks are you wearing? Oh, Cloud Nine merino wool. Ooh, nice. And these are. What percentage Quarter. are there? Are there, I think, almost all wool. Oh, whoa. These are from Amazon. You'd recommend those? Yeah, Online? I have the the higher ankle ones for my boots, then yeah. I have the short ones for my other shoes. Yeah, yeah, because I'm wearing the Outlier NYC socks uh, right now. How much are those? And they're, they're like, I think like 25 bucks a pair or something. Damn. I freaking love these though. These are like 10. Oh, okay, that's a lot more affordable. But they're... They're a little thicker. Okay. But uh, what else? Uh, oh, Pixel 2. Oh, yeah. So I have an iPhone XS at home, uh -huh. but I bought the Pixel 2 uh -huh. for the translation feature. Yeah. Have you actually been using it? You want to demo it? Oh, yeah. So, give, it, give it a shot. So I haven't even used it yet. So, I've been... so wait, wait, wait. Oh, wanna, so the Pixel. So this is the charging case. So that's the charging case. So essentially it's like um it's like essentially the like AirPods, the AirPods, right? But it has the wire. Okay. So as soon as you take it out it turns on. Okay, that's pretty cool. So then we'll Put go. Ears. Okay. Wait, so then... Do I have it on the right ear? Oh yeah, I'm gonna write. Right. Okay, so we go okay. Google translate Spanish. Google translate Spanish. No. Google. Hello. Translate Spanish. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, look, it's already doing it. Wait. Oh, whoa, so that's crazy. Okay, let so me what turn time? on the voice. Right. Where is the grocery store? I have to hold it. Where is the grocery store? Where is the grocery store? Come on. Where is the grocery store? Okay, where is the grocery store? Bien, donde está la tienda de comestibles? Holy moly, that's pretty crazy. And then you have to push, you have to hold the, the earbud when you're talking about that? Uh, la tienda es cerca de bibli la biblioteca. And then in, in my ear it said store in your library. Oh, so you, you can actually hear it real time. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty cool. So the, the question is, uh, have you actually used it? <laughs> I, I haven't used it in Mexico. I, I found out about it in Japan last month. Yeah. Or two months ago. Yeah. And I wish I had it there because very, uh, people don't really speak English. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So what do, you, uh, what do you like about Mexico so far? Uh, you know, I've, I've been here, I don't know, 40 times maybe. Well, seriously? To Mexico. 40 all, times? All different parts of Mexico. Seriously? Yeah. I didn't know you've been to Mexico yeah, so many times. What? Mostly, um, you know, Cancun, you know, before I started out like as a, as a tourist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Cancun and Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's the other one? Uh, yeah, just all over the Yucatan. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. then I started coming inland, uh -huh. Guadalajara. Mexico City, Whoa. and now a lot in the Guanajuato state. Uh -uh. Um, I'm going to head up towards Tampico and then Guadalajara. Maybe go to Puebla. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just like it's so inexpensive. Yeah. Hotel rooms, I've been paying like 20 to 30 a night. For like um, nice places, right? Yeah. yeah, pretty yeah. decent. Uh -huh. um, yeah, like apartments, two hundred dollars for uh, like a one bedroom apartment, like this, a little bigger than this. Uh -huh. um, two hundred for the week in Guanajuato. Uh -huh. uh, food, you know, depending where you go. Yeah. Street food, like fifty cents a taco. Oh yeah. <laughs> Some restaurants might be seventy five to a dollar a uh -huh. taco. But uh -huh. Yeah, just you could spend so little. And take buses. It's twenty five dollars from Celaya to Mexico City to uh -huh. four hour ride. Yeah, uh huh. Twenty five. Uh huh. That's not bad. So, uh, what's what's been your favorite food so far in Mexico City, or just Mexico in general? Sorry. Uh, I've eaten a lot of tacos. Nice. I've had, God, probably fifty tacos. Do you have a certain favorite taco? I like the arrachera. Arachera? Arachera. Is that, is that uh, beef? It's beef. Oh. It's like a, I guess a better quality beef. Oh, okay, okay. Better than the carne asada or beef steak. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, a little more tender. Uh-huh. Um, the chorizo tacos in Guanajuato are very mm -hmm. good. Yeah. A lot of flavor. Just a little salty. <laughs> a lot of flavor. So, uh, I have a question, Todd. So, you know you evolved from doing like more, more photo to doing video now? Yeah. So, what's the... What's the difference in terms of mentality when you, you know, you're traveling for a trip or you're just traveling in general for doing, um, uh, doing video instead of doing photo? Uh, I think there's, there's more to it because you have to, you know, you need the motion, right? You got to get not only in focus, framed right, sound is good, uh, you know, get enough of a shot. Mm-hmm. You know, like five, ten seconds, twenty seconds yeah. of a shot. You can't just, you know, real quick, one, two seconds, and you're done. Because then you have no leeway to yeah. uh, edit with. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I was talking to this photographer yesterday that mm -hmm. I went with to the festival, mm -hmm. and uh, he had some. I mean, he had some great shots, like photos of the the Hammer Festival, mm -hmm. and. I just I can't do both at the same time. Oh, I like see. I, yeah. I could do them both, but they'll both be not great. So I have to just just do video, and then maybe I'll take a few photos as an afterthought. Yeah. But they're never great. Oh. So like his photos, like he got some. I mean, 
the, the guy hit the hammer and he was blown back <laughs> and you could see him like falling back uh -huh. and and the smoke uh -huh. and I got it all on the same scene in video yeah, yeah, yeah. so I mean it's impressive and video but that one frame that he oh got, on this it's you know it's powerful right yeah. it's like so it's like what do you like better? Do you like photos or do you like video? Uh, can you, um, so uh, assuming let's say you're shooting 4K, right? Can't you just pause it and just grab a still? You can, but the motion, you know, you might get some motion blur. Uh-huh. Focus, you know, it's it's more of a, uh, you know, deeper depth of field. Yeah. So, you know, he might have been going for, you know, shallow depth of field. Yeah, yeah, the guy uh -huh. with the background blur. Uh -huh. and so. You know, it's I I did cut out some of the the better frames, yep. um, put them up on Facebook just yeah. just to show because you know people don't watch video as much. They'll look at a photo in, yeah. in a second. Yeah. To spend thirty seconds on a video. Yeah, because because one thing I've been thinking about is like you know honestly at this point is like what's even the point of like um, like the difference between like video and photo because like. I mean, like, I've been able to shoot even 4K and then, like, grab some still, and they look pretty damn good, like, obviously not, but, like, probably, like, 70% as good as the still photos, so, like, you know, obviously, like, you know, YouTube's still popular and stuff like that, so I'm just kind of, like, like, um, have you just, like, been happier shooting video and just more productive and, like, yeah. I mean, it seems like you hate the editing side of things, but... Yeah, the editing's tough. Editing photos is so easy. <laughs> Sorry, photographers. No, it's true, it's true. It's just... Like I can do that, and and just the the time it takes overall. You know, mm -hmm. if you take five hundred photos, cut them down in Lightroom, and then edit your yeah. however many twenty or fifty. Uh -huh. I mean that I can do. You know, an hour, two hours. Yeah. But editing one video could take me, you know, a day or twelve hours, and it's just so grueling. Like you just make these tiny little steps. I'd be like, all right, I'm, I got one minute finished, and then it's already been like, you know, three or four hours. Have you thought about just like not editing your videos? <laughs> no, I have to. <laughs> yeah, it's just with the style and, you know. So what would you say, like, what style are you trying to go for in terms of editing right now? Um, it's it's kind of cinematic with a little bit of vlogging or voiceover. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing kind of intro, mm -hmm. either on camera or voiceover with some nice cinematic B-roll and get into the action, mm -hmm. a little bit of funny stuff, mm -hmm. um, you know, a little talking voiceover or um, narrating here and there, um, trying to finish it off good. But any Any tips on like... Um you know, like making the, the workflow better or less stressful or not really? Haven't figured anything yeah. out? <laughs> hire, hire an editor. Hire an editor, that's, that's good. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so for photographers who want to do more like us, uh, get into video, what kind of tips would you give them? Just shoot. Like, you know, it's, it's going to look bad at first and just edit as well as you can. And, I mean, that, my videos weren't, watchable for the first you know my, my videos months. my videos are still not watchable <laughs> <laughs> so yeah just, just gotta do it it's all just you know repetition and learning and what well, what camera should i buy you know to to be simple i just i love i love the osmo pocket Dude, i might have to buy one of these it's just like i won't take my G9 or GH5 sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like yesterday for the festival, I needed a zoom. Yeah. So I I shot almost all on the G9 yeah. uh -huh. and at at uh, 60, so 120. Yeah. Yes, oh, uh, nice. Because uh -huh. uh, you had to stay kind of far from uh -huh. explosives. Yeah. But that's that's a wise idea. But otherwise, like this thing gets such a workout, and with the 128 card. Mm -hmm. Like after two weeks, I'm still not even full. Whoa, seriously? In 4K. What? This shoots 4K too? Yeah, 4K 60. What? That slow mo and. Oh my god. One um, 1080. So why do people? Do people know about this? Yeah, it it just came out. Mm -hmm. like Christmas time. Uh huh. 
Yeah, the only thing, it doesn't have a changeable battery. Okay. But the battery, I've never run out. Oh, that's like, pretty good. Like during a day. Uh -huh. And then you can also charge it with a battery pack. Oh. With the USB-C. Oh, that's that's super useful. So, I mean, it's people complain about that. And there's no mount. There's no quarter 20 mm -hmm. mount. But there's aftermarket. Man, people need things. to quit complaining. People love to complain, right? But I love it. Like that, that thing, uh, my GoPro Hero 7 is just sitting in the drawer. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not happy with the GoPro. Why, why not? Ah, uh, the, well, the sound, the, uh, the pitch, the picture's still not great. Oh, the like, image quality? Yeah, it's, so if I go, if, so, if I shoot G9 or GH5 yeah. and the Osmo, yeah. you can't tell once I color Oh, really? Wow. Like, you, mm -hmm. it's pretty seamless. Yeah, uh -huh. The GoPro, you can tell. Like oh that picture. Is that, oh that's the GoPro. Good. Oh interesting. The, the... It's, it's good for water sports, uh -huh, I would uh -huh. say, but anything outside it without perfect lighting, it's gonna have some issues. Like whatever's? Yeah. Oh, so um but Oh yeah. just a random question. So Todd, you've traveled the world and stuff like that, right? So we you know, we're both uh, you know, obsessive about packing light or trying to find the best optimal lightweight, whatever, right? Yeah. Why is it uh like why travel light? That's just easier. Like, you know, this, I've been going on buses, I've been walking, I've been yeah. just, and then this tiny little bag, right? Yeah. And it's five inches. Like, I don't turn and bump into someone. Yeah. yeah uh -huh. Even because I have a bigger bag, which I carry most of the time. Yeah. If I need more gear. Uh -huh. But this time I was like, I'm just going to go as minimal as possible. Mm mm. And I do have a, one smaller bag than yeah. this, mine shift gear, yeah. but it won't fit my MacBook. Oh, I see, so I see. So if I wasn't bringing the MacBook, I would have tried to get it into... Why, why did you bring your laptop? Oh, because I have to do a bunch of editing. I'm, uh... So there's an app called Firework. Firework? Yes, and it's uh, it's 15 to 30 second videos. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like, um, what was that old one that got... Eight second vine, vine. It's yeah, like, it's like a new vine. Okay, and they are really pushing their travel content. So I'm one of the their featured creators. Now. Oh, cool! Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm putting out one video every weekday. Oh, nice. So I actually have to upload it here. <laughs> so yeah, check that out, Todd Hata mm -hmm. on Firework, uh -huh. and yeah, they're. There's going to be yeah, just tons of videos on there. I'm getting a bunch of my YouTuber friends on there as well. Yeah. yeah uh -huh. So if you can't watch a five or ten minute video, <laughs> come and watch a 30 second video. Nice, nice. And, uh, yeah. Is there any anything you brought in your trip that you wish you didn't bring that you're like, uh, like, you know, it was kind of useful to have, but I'm like, eh, next well, time I'm not going to bring this. So far the mouse. Mouse, yep. Yeah. Don't bring a mouse. Uh, the, well, an, an extra charger extra which charger. I haven't needed. Uh -huh. um, I actually had to buy a hat because I couldn't fit it in my bag. Oh. I needed it for the festival. Oh yeah, see you can see oh, the could, explosives. Oh nice to make sure the shrapnel doesn't get into yeah, your face. Yeah, that and sunglasses so I got like dollar a dollar hat. Oh nice. Dollar sunglasses. Very I'm wise. Probably either just gonna give them away or throw them out. Oh nice. I can't fit it in my bag really. Uh -huh. um, but yeah that's that's it. Um, Sweet. If I didn't have to do all this editing, I wouldn't bring these two oh five God, terabyte drives. <laughs> so that would have saved. Yeah. Like, like 10, no, maybe a pound. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> all right. So Todd, how do uh, people follow you and your shenanigans? So everything is under Todd Hata, T O D D H A T A, uh -huh. and yeah, on YouTube. Every Monday, sometimes Wednesday, new videos. Mm -hmm. Um, same on Facebook, yep. Twitter, Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing stories every day. Uh -huh. And Firework. Download the app. Mm -hmm. uh, follow me. I'm, I'm just building my following there. Uh -huh. So I think that's going to be a pretty cool platform. And they, they're coming out like in a day or two with a brand new feature, which is pretty cool. Firework? Firework. All right, dude. You know. Thanks a lot, Todd. All right. See the. Is that the. Yeah. Thumbnail? Oh, wait. no, 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 that's the. I don't know. I guess we could do a thumbnail. <laughs> wait.